I spent two years traveling back in the, uh, the early 80s. Yeah, early 80s. Mm -hmm. And we traveled around the country. I had We had a motorhome, a bus motorhome that we had converted. And just teaching wherever the Lord led us. And we one of the stops, one of the places we spent a fair amount of time was in western Kentucky. We wound up in Murray, Kentucky. And there's a state college there in Murray. And somebody had opened their home and we were doing, I was doing Bible studies almost every night or quite a number of times every week. And we had a lot of people coming to these Bible studies and we had people, some young people coming from the college. And one of them was a, a, just a dear, dear sister, I mean, who's been involved in our life for years. Since then. Yeah. Yeah. Since then. Yeah. Her name was Susan. And she came in and she would sit there and in the beginning it was like she'd sit the, at the Bible study and she'd kind of twitch. And one night I was teaching something and she just jumped up and ran out the door. I mean, just, it was like shocking. I mean, just, she just bounded up and ran out the door. So we didn't see her for a few days. And then after a few days, she came back. And she said that what she had learned, because she was raised in a Christian home, in a, in a Christian de denomination. And she said the things that she had learned had been like a wall, a brick wall that had built in front of her. And as she was sitting there listening to the Bible studies, it was like I would say something and a, and a brick would come out of that wall. I'd say, and then, by the way, my saying something is not my commentary. It was something word. out of the word. Right. And it would take another brick out of that wall. Superseded the traditions. Yes, it superseded the traditions that she had learned. And this one night, she said, I said something and the wall collapsed. Mm -hmm. oh. She didn't know what to do. And it shook her. I mean, this is, I guess she must have been about 21 years old yeah. at the time, right? Yeah. So it just shook her and she ran off. And she said, well, she went away and she prayed because she didn't know what else to do. She prayed and she said, the Lord said, I just set you free. Yes. Free from what? The, the traditions. Yes. Free to live the word of God. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. We, God's promise to us is that he will lead us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. How does he lead us? He leads us with his word, which is pure and holy. And Susan described it as a wool, but actually it was the death garment. It was, it was a garment of death. And it can be as solid as bricks, That's I'm right. telling you what. Right. Absolutely. But, but she had that because the church today, and I'm going to make this statement boldly, is guided in its beliefs and its practices more by the tradition of men yes. than by the word of God. Just like the Pharisees that were so ready to condemn. State that Jesus was a sinner. I, let me ask you a question. I mean, stop and think about this. As I said, you know, we have been blessed to have had the opportunity. I have preached and taught in probably 25 different denominations. Roughly. I, I'd say that's a, a fairly accurate, that's got to be an accurate number. On five different continents and countries around the world. I mean, I've been to a lot of churches. I've seen a lot of different churches. Are they guided by the tradition or by the word? Well, I can walk into most churches and I know exactly what I, what I can expect to find. Yeah, they, they all have the, the same outline. The first, first gets up the, the worship group, which is not worship, by the way. Check your scriptures. And they'll, they'll sing a few songs, everybody have a night. And there's nothing wrong with singing. I mean, praise God for that. God has given us that and called for it. That's not worship, but, that's, but that'll take place. And then after that, there'll be announcements. They'll take up the collection, the offering, and then the pastor or whoever is speaking will get up and speak. I mean, it goes through the same ritualistic pattern that, by the way, can't be found in Scripture. Mm -hmm. That's correct. That pattern is not there, but it'll be the same thing. Or you can go to the mainline churches in their tradition, and you will see the same exact exactly. pattern week yep. after week after week after week. Right. But do me a favor. If you love the Lord and you love the Word of God, Go look and see what it's supposed to look like yes. when we believers come yeah. together. Yeah. And maybe you'll find it shocking that when it's, God's pattern for this is different than what we're practicing. Yes. And if it's different, the word is different than it's man's tradition that we are practicing.